we were studying kids with autism and we're looking at white blood cells and looking at which genes were turned on and off in those white blood cells. One of our very alert students saw that two of our patients had what's called a fusion gene, a gene that is composed of two pieces of, uh, of two genes spliced together. And this fusion gene is known to be extremely high risk for a type of leukemia. And we were really quite uh, distressed because if in this was indeed the case, then we did not actually have knowledge of who the patient was because this was a standard blinded study where the patients were anonymous. And so the only way we could have proceeded if we wanted to contact the patients was either to do something illicit and try to figure out who that patient was through basically electronic hacking or recontact the entire cohort and scare them all and said that we wanted to consent them for this cancer test. And this made us realize very clearly that we needed to have a more systematic way of reaching out to patients when we had actionable, important information to them. In this case, when it was bad news. But what if we had good news? We'd want to communicate that too. What if, for example, you have a disease and, and then all of a sudden there's a new drug for individuals which have a, a particular gene mutation that you have? Well, that'd be great news potentially, but we need to be able to find you. And if it's fully anonymous and all the links are cut, we can't do that.